art? I think because it, it one, it keeps you young in terms of you're always creating something. So it keeps your mind joking. You never tend to age. And it keeps you interacting with different human beings. So you pluck a wisdom there, wisdom there, leaf there. And then it's interesting because you interact with different minds. I think for me it's passion. I had I had a passion of for instead of choosing radio, I used, I wanted to do radio at first. But I came to production and there was something about production that was not on radio. I think the whole technical I think the whole technical aspect of of production, that's what made me became become I, I loved it. The challenge that we had, we, we had challenges with microphones because sometimes we don't get as much guests as we, we usually get around one, two, at most three. But if it's a crowd of around eight, we have to invest with the microphones. And then also, if some of the, some of the actors, some of them have high-pitched sounds than others. So trying to regulate them and trying to put them in a way that they can all sound with the same wavelength, it's kind of, it's kind of hard. Servant? Uh, uh, yes, Master. Go and see what all that singing is about. Uh, yes, Master. Go. Uh, right away, Master. Right I think the greatest is getting to the full frame of my craft. Why? Because every single day as an actor, my first job is always auditioning. You never settle, because if you ask me right now, I don't know my next job. But I know I must get it from perhaps someone who is seeing my previous job or someone who is auditioning me. So every day you're working your craft up for interviews. It has not been easy. I don't know if it's just as a female artist or any other person, but for me personally, it hasn't been like linear. Like in any, any other uh, occupation, you have to work and fight for your space. And that is exactly what I have been doing, um, step by step, until I am here. May you reign forever to drink fresh blood and walk crushing on the heads of the rushes. Don't you think I deserve more? Oh, <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. Um, one, because it's, it would get me the chance to interact with people I've looked up to. And of course, it's the peak of getting your craft as an actor out there. In terms of radio hosting, or as a radio presenter, I would wish, of course, to end up in BBC. The first thing, you have to do something according to your passion. If you are good in radio, do it. If you are good in technical aspects, yes, do it. But the best thing also is practice, practice, every time practice. Also, for me, the, the thing about me is that I did not start, I did not start out as someone who knew. I, not, I, not, I didn't have the experience. But through learning and through seeing what other technicians were doing, I, I got the knowledge and that's, that, that is what made me be where I am today. Every time when you look back, the next time you're on stage, you need to be better than the last time. So practice keeps you there. Be your true self, be versatile, and be open and ready for change. When you're given a major role, play the role. When you're given a minor role, play, play the role. And just own your character. And uh, by that, you, as you just shine and be who you're supposed to be as per the actor and the character that you're playing.